Okay, so... The fourth one was given to Durgam Gordon, the original owner. I must set off. I still do not know where the fifth key is. Its origin eludes me in the many years of the past. When I obtain the other ones, I must find this last one too. April 15th. I have... It was not easy. Unfortunately, not all hope is lost, however. It should not be hard to obtain them. April 21st. I cannot... The ca <laughs> I'm like skipping through all the diary I entries. Know. It's entering. I will set... April 26th. Okay. Whatever it is that is buried underneath Warm Hill, it is not easily within reach. It took me several days before I discovered an extraordinary pedestal with numerous tiny and meticulously shaped stones in the belfry. Right. The whole pedestal is a complex mechanical lock. Surely it will open the way to the church's underground for me. I tried to change the positions of the opposite stones, but it was beyond my will to fully concentrate. I was too tired to attempt to set up the mechanism properly. Before I left for home, I made a drawing of the whole mechanism and returned the stones to their original configuration. Tomorrow I will go to April 27th. Luck was on my side today. Okay, so that's pretty much... It's the idea of switching them, right? Well, that's what he basically said. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I see. So we are switching them. Okay, well, that's that's not that hard of a puzzle. I mean, it's definitely going to take some time. Yeah, because these things can't skip, like, jump over each other, so... Yeah, no, they can't jump over each other. I think I'm doing this the complete wrong way, but at least I'm doing it, I, like, some way, at least. Uh, okay, but how do I get this one out?
Uh, nope. Come on. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. We got almost two sides here ready. Oh, actually. Oh, there. There we go. And now we just need to switch these ones. I had done some moves off off screen, off recording, so just bear with me. Because the idea of the puzzle is to switch the diamonds with the with these black diamonds and then have the red back in the center. So Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, "Oh, wait, I shouldn't have done that." There we go. Wait, where's the other one? Oh, it's up there. I was like, wait, where's the other one? Uh-oh. <laughs> We're at an impasse. Um... There we go. I, yep, I think I got it. Then you down here. And then you back to center. Got it. I got it. Why is nothing happening? <laughs> I'm like, why is nothing happening? I honestly thought that was it. Do I have to make it center? Maybe like an actual cross or something? The right ah, combination. There we across. go. We had to make it cross, that's what it was. Hooray! Something shifted. Oh, window? Apparently I can look at the window. How many eyes over time have looked through this grayish glass? Uh, 
carpet. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why I can look at all these things now. Ooh, secret passage. Go down. <laughs> the Ooh. air in here is barely breathable. Nice. I like it. Oh. Oh, we need our thing. It's the same as the one upstairs. So we, we need it then. Yeah, we need it. <laughs> Go back up and get it. Take it. Ding! Alright, back down. And put it inside. Maybe this will turn the lights on. Ah! I was right! Look at that! Did the door just close Damn. on us? What was that? I think the Entrance door- Entrance has closed. Yeah, the door just closed. I must open it somehow. Eh. Well, wait. Let's just look around first. The pages are well preserved. I'll have a look. It can't be seen, but it can be heard. It will not speak unless it's spoken to. Oh, it's an echo. It can't be seen, but it can be heard. It will not speak unless it's spoken to. Yeah, it's an echo. It's a, it's a riddle. It can't... Okay. Black when bought. Red when used. Gray when thrown out. Coal? Okay, I, I think that's what it is. I think these are riddles. Because when you buy coal, it's black, and then when you put it into the fire, it turns red, and then when it's cinder and ash, it's gray. Part of the ceiling has collapsed here. The tomb is very old. Oh, another old book. The more you take away, the larger it grows. Okay, yeah, these are riddles. The more you take away, the larger it grows. Oh, uh, a hole. The more you dig, the bigger it gets. Okay. Oh, are these supposed to be the answers? <gasps> yes, okay. It is. Hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. So, this one relates to this one? That one was Echo, right? Yeah, it was Echo. Echo. Oh. Nope. Damn it. Oh. Echo. It works! Yay! Shall wisdom be your way? All right. Okay, and uh, the other one was coal. Uh, coal. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Okay, and this one. Hole? Like, hole in the ground? H... Oh. Oh. Yeah, I just got sw swapped these two here. Uh, E. Hole. Yeah! Woohoo! One more. Carved lettering. Okay. Shall wisdom be your way? The Saint Four, the year of the Lord, 1243. Oh, okay. I was like... Basically, it's like, solve the riddles. Okay. <laughs> Got it. It was this one. 
Cities without houses, rivers without water, forests without trees. Cities without houses, rivers without water, forests without trees. A map? Yep, map. <laughs> Just move the one letter. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Now what? Oh, okay. The grave of Marcus Gordon himself. Please tell me he's a vampire. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Stone tomb. Yeah, desecration. What <laughs> bunk? It's inside. Marcus. Ooh. No. The first Gordon. Yeah, not a vampire. Ooh, a book. Eat. This must be the key William wrote about in his diary. The first of the five. Nice. I'll take that. Uh, the book. There is no man today who would remember the origin of the Gate of the Two Worlds, the Black Mirror. Ooh, there this we go. This record shall be a warning to all who blindly long for power, not hesitating to stray from the path of fate, exposing their soul to dark forces. Mordred, the lord of our manor, an amoral evil man, plagued the people of these lands for many long years with his ill nature and hatred. His power, however, was soon ended by Marcus, newly returned from the battles with the disbelievers in distant lands. Well acquainted with the habits of his enemy, Mordred made meticulous preparations to withstand the attack of his brother. Realizing that not even the strong walls of the castle could hold against the onslaught forever, he descended into the underground of the chapel. Ah. There, he opened within its heart the black mirror and urged the entities of shadow to help prevent his doom. Okay. He was not the only one, however, to know of the secret corridors below the castle. By the hand of fate, the balance of power began to lean towards Mordred's side. There was not much time left. Watching his men die around him, Marcus understood what had to be done. Overwhelmed by fury, he battled his way through many lines of enemies into the labyrinth of corridors leading to the heart of the underground cathedral. With haste, he took advantage of the momentary surprise and thrust his sword with all his might against his brother. Righteous anger hit its target and cold steel pierced the black heart of the traitor. Victory was within grasp. But... Staggering on the edge of a bottomless abyss, Mordred gathered his last ounce of strength and brought forth his final desperate deed. With merciless hatred and zealous rage of his defeat, he pronounced the dark words of the curse. Oh. Of your blood, others will rise with your name, bearing my curse. One of your heirs will convert five souls of five mortals. This will be the catalyst to bring my anger back to life. And I will return. When your days have ended, there will be no one to stop me. Mordred then fell to his knees, and the throat of the Black Mirror closed as he took his terminal breath. In that instant, the whole place was filled by a deafening sound and blinding light, followed by an absolute silence. And one last thing to be done. Four keys of power were divided by Marcus among the lords of the Gordon Manors, the fifth key remaining with Marcus himself. Never again would the keys meet in the hand of a mortal to open the gate between the worlds of good and evil. Such is the story of our Lord that saved us in the Dark Ages. Let his soul rest in peace forever. Isidore Vale, in memory of Marcus Gordon, 1240 A.D. Okay, so Black we got the Mirror. plot. The secret chapel the book mentions must be somewhere below the castle. I'll obtain the five keys and finish what William couldn't. 
Okay, but did you not understand what was written here? It said a mortal can't have the five keys or else hell will come back. Like, oh my gosh. Freaking people, it's like, yeah, okay, there's this thing of power, let's just let it be, don't bring the keys together and we'll be fine. But someone had to be like, oh, let's collect these keys and see what happens. And that's how I guess we got the story. Okay, thanks Marcus. Um, I should put the thing back on, shouldn't I? Oh, is there anything else I have to do here? Probably not. Okay, well, let's figure out how to get out of here now. The path has closed. There's no getting out that way. With hope, there's another exit somewhere. Oh, yeah. Uh... Another exit. Oh, oh, what's that? Candlestick. That is not a candlestick. I can't see anything interesting. Tick. Ooh, a rat. Follow the rat. Follow the rat. Hmm. Where did it run? Follow the rat. I think I just died. Oh my god, did I actually just die? Uh, oh, no, we're good. I must have hurt my arm. Could have been worse, though. At least I'm alive. Yeah. Where are we, though? Turn on the light? A mechanism of some sort with three levers. With a bit of luck, it might still work. A rusty valve. It might be feeding the fuel somewhere. Yeah, we're just trying to look for a light switch, though. If only I knew the correct setup. I've got to keep trying. 7.3... I don't know. I wish I knew what that said. Nothing. The hmm. levers must be in the wrong position. I don't know if that means anything, but... Yeah, that's literally what I was trying. Like, like, five, seven, three, but I guess not. Not like that. The no. mechanism is short on power consumption. Hmm. Turn the valve. Okay, and then try this. No. Hmm. Just keep trying. Oh! Excellent! Yay! Everything's going to be easier with light. Yeah, of course. Here are the things I lost when I fell down the shaft. Oh good, we get our items back. I didn't know we lost them. Most of the items are alright. Okay. Bells. Our little cannonball. Book. 
key. Okay, we still got the key. The camera is smashed. Aw. Okay. Yeah, cable's dangerous. So we'll need to turn off the power. Don't touch it. Don't no! touch it. Okay, we died then. <laughs> I was like, don't touch it. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> Samuel Gordon, the idiot who touched the cable. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. And I didn't save it either. Oh, my God. All right. Well, this is actually a pretty... This might be a good place to... Oh, no. I have to play it all over again. Ugh. All right. Well, actually, yeah. This is a pretty good spot to stop because I died. So, uh, stay tuned where I get back to this original part. It'll take me a while to get to that part. But, um... Or wait, didn't it say that it... I don't know. Let's try it. Damn it. Yeah, this is going to take me a while to get back to where we were. So, stay tuned for the next video. This is Puzzle Pieces signing off.